This goes all the way back before we have quote unquote the first commerce transaction, right? Hey, you have got a cow. I got four chickens. I'm sick and tired of eating chickens. Your cow looks pretty good. Do you want some chickens? I said, oh, I would love to have some chickens. Hey, how about I trade X amount of chickens with your cow? Great. That's the first business transaction, yes? This, before we have currency. Now, fast forward, the difference is now we trade with what? Money. That's all, which is this all made up anyway. It's all made up. But that has not changed in thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So, from the dawn of time, all business can be boiled down to please write this down one single thing an offer. An offer. I make an offer for chickens. You have an offer of a cow, right? And then you might say, no, I don't want four chickens, I want six chickens. Okay, I'll do six chickens with your cat, right? That's how business works. It boils down to offer. One single thing. And I believe money, say this with me please, money is the purest motive that exists on earth. So it's very good when you're selling, be very clear of, hey, here's why I am doing it. Be very transparent. People appreciate that. Don't feel, oh, because I'm nice, I want to help. I want to help, but I want to make money. Oh, great. Like, okay, now I'm, now I'm clear. Now I'm clear. One of the things that you could do and test it, and I teach this of some of my mentees. Let's say you have, uh, you have dinner or lunch. Go into, let's say you go to a fancy restaurant, right? One of the things I do is I tip in advance. So it would be something like this, right? Instead of, you know how we go to a fancy restaurant, usually how much do you tip? Put in the chat, how much do you tip? How much do you tip? What percentage? 15, 20, 25, right? If it's, the server is very, very good, you might tip on 25%, right? How many are generous? How many are cheap? Very good. <laughs> okay, thank you for honesty. I appreciate that, right? So 10, 15, 20%, right? So what I do is I would calculate, let's say I know the meal is going to be roughly 200 bucks, right? Then I would give the waiter, let's say 50 bucks, right? But I'll do it in advance. I do it in advance. So it would go something like this, right? Let's say I have the 50 bucks on my hand, right? So the server comes along, right? They say, Mo, pretend, right? Okay. So he's coming along. I say, hey, so I'll give him 50 bucks. I'll just leave a handshake of 50 bucks, right? And usually, how do you think he's reacting as a waiter or a server? Very happy. Right? Usually, they're shocked. They're like, what is usually, nine out of ten, they say, what is this for? They're like, Libby, we are, what is this for, right? And my line is always, this is for the great service that I know you'll render tonight. <laughs> really? Right? And that evening, you will not believe it. The service that you would get, you would be like, sir, do you need anything? And by the way, you get a lot of free shit. <laughs> you get free appetizers, you get free dessert, you get, they talk to the kitchen, and this guy is talking to all the other waiters and waitresses. You know, that person right there, that just teamed me in advance. I haven't even done anything. Wow, my that person. Next time you walk in the same restaurant, everybody knows you. You, you, like you get the best seat, you get the best everything. And here's the trick. You were going to tip them the same anyway. I was going to pay them the 50 bucks one way or the other. Does that make sense? It's, so your cost is the same. What have we changed? Timing. And we're talking about identity shift or mindset shift. One of the things that you got to shift when you're selling high ticket is expectation. I expect great services. I expect them to provide great services. Guess what do I get? Great services. You expect people to pay you well and compensate for what you're worth. Guess what you get? You get exactly the same thing. In life, you don't get what you want. In life, you get what you expect. And I don't mean motivation and I don't mean hope and wish. I mean it's going to happen. Like when I look at him and give him the 50 bucks, I know it's going to happen. And it's like, yeah, it's going to happen. And then because I know it's going to happen, 
he's going to make it happen. He'll, he'll be tested next time. See how people react. See how people react to you. you. You will see the same place you go to, they will know you by name. Everyone in the restaurant will know you. You walk in, you get the best. And then next time you come in, everybody fights to serve you. Oh, that's me. That's, no, that's me. Everybody fights to serve you. But your cost is the same. But we are so afraid. Oh, but what if I pay him the 50 bucks and he doesn't serve me? That's called poverty mindset. That's expectation. You're using law of expectation in the wrong way. Now you're thinking about what if I don't get the value. How many of you ever had a bad meal? Put up your hand. How many of you still eat? <laughs> Who gives a Does that make sense? Who gives Maybe I pay 50 bucks, he's an and he doesn't provide service. That's okay. That's okay. But you do it, you do it enough, 9 out of 10, you get great services. This is why I'm going to teach you through your three days. I do things very differently. And it doesn't require more effort. It just requires a little shift in, in the way you do things.